Hi everyone, Rusty here. We're in Melbourne today for the Australian launch of this, the strikingly beautiful 720S. The latest offering from British supercar maker McLaren. Powered by the company's four litre twin turbo V8 that produces more than 700 horsepower, 530 kilowatts, peak torque levels of 770 newton meters. That will leave you struggling for words. And so will the 0 to 100 time, 2.9 seconds. McLaren says it'll also reach 200 k's an hour from a standing start in just under eight seconds, 7.8 to be exact. It's mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, and it puts all that power to the ground via a seven-speed seamless shift gearbox. Under the skin, a clever mix of carbon fiber and aluminium, and it really helps to keep the overall weight of the car down to just 1,419 kilos. And just admire some of that styling for a moment, those wonderful fluid lines, the next-gen McLaren designing there. They've improved the aero efficiency and they've helped direct air to all the right places as well for things like engine cooling and active rear wing as well. And if we have a look through the doors here, these trademark McLaren doors, that is where we will find McLaren Asia Pacific Managing Director, George Biggs, and it's nice to catch up with you again. Hi, good, nice to see you. What uh, can you tell us in terms of the, of the car and the reaction that you've had to it worldwide so far? So it's been phenomenal actually. This is our second generation super series product, so we've been really lucky um, with the response so far. The media's driven it, the, the reviews have been quite phenomenal really and the customer response has just been um, exceptional so we're really good. Really you talked about history today from as far back as 2011, the yes. MP412C with 650, 675 and you wondered where the company could go with the Super Series and in many ways this has exceeded expectations hasn't it? Well absolutely, we've been able to take a lot of the learning over that relatively short history so that six years we've been able to take you know, our customer feedback and response and being able to bring that into this car and this car really performance is outstanding but also I mean the styling I think um, you know it's subjective but for me it's um, something that you really get to understand and get to know a bit better it's um, something that you can't kind of tear yourself away from. You're inside what is a little bit like a jet fighter cockpit aren't you just tell us a bit more about that and how it's a great experience from a driver point of view in there. Yeah absolutely I mean the, what we actually do at McLaren is start to um, develop our cars from the inside we develop our cars from the driver so Really, it's about where you can see, can you place the car correctly on the road? If you're on the, if you're on the track, can you, can you understand exactly where you're going and what the car's doing? We've got an all new infotainment display, um, and then we've got this um, innovative um, driver display here, which effectively folds up on waking the car, um, and then also it folds away when you're on track. So effectively, it just gives you the, um, it gives you the essential information that you really want when you're driving on track. I didn't really talk too much about the brake package in my introduction, but it is very impressive uh, the way in which this car can decelerate from quite a big speed. Absolutely, yeah. Um, for kind of experienced drivers, much more experienced drivers than myself, they can really start to exploit getting into that and deep into the corner and taking that speed all the way through. But yeah, the way that it shifts, um, that it shifts speed off is just phenomenal. I think it's uh, just over the length of a football field you can decelerate from 200 k's an hour. Indeed, is, indeed, is yeah. For those that do want to take it uh, on the track, you can uh, incorporate MTT, can't you? Yes, yes. So our, our tachometry system, so you can actually have, um, you know, depending on what specification you choose, you can have a number of track cameras and effectively what it does is it can able to uh, track um, as you go round um, and see where you're accelerating, braking, you can download that data, you can have a look at it, analyse it and see where you can exploit the performance of the car even more. And improve as a driver. History, as you well know George, is a, is a really important part of what makes people passionate about, about supercars like this. Here in Australia, uh, this month is the release of yes. the Bruce McLaren movie. Can yes. you give us a sense of what the reaction's been like in the company to this? Oh, it's actually it's a really phenomenal story and I think it's one that really needs to be told around Bruce's passion, his interest, I mean the capability um, and just the intelligence that guy was phenomenal um, and actually taking what Bruce and how he developed cars and bringing that all the way through to the modern era is really important and relevant for us. Um, the story is really quite an emotional one but it's also a very pertinent one to tell at this time. It's, is one of um, a lot of endeavour, um, a lot of focus, and something that we like to take through to our current cars. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Absolutely, thank you. There he is, the managing director of Asia Pacific for McLaren, George Biggs, and that 
is the brand new 720S. It's about to go on sale here in Australia. This is the first one in the country. Starting price just under half a million dollars and we cannot wait to drive it. This is EFTM, everything for the man.